Uh, I'm on call with right now is Japanese Tutor. He's streaming. His Twitch name is Japanese Tutor. Unfortunately, I can't stream squad with you because I don't. Are you a partner? I'm not a partner. I'm a, I'm a small streamer. Like I, I'm, I'm a pleb. Sorry You're, about you that. You have 200 viewers. That's not small. I, I, I think they're all here to see you. That, that's, no, that's, no, it. No. that's it. That's it. That's literally it. Um, is it this or is it? I think it's this one, right? Chat dog VA. Oh yeah, I got you. That yeah, Chad Dog VA. All right, I'm here. Okay, so upon looking at your games, um, and then reviewing the material that I had with you and Ludwig, mm -hmm. um, you were playing different. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like you were playing some closed positions, and you were trying to uh, go with some positional stuff and trying to outplay your opponent. But then you your pieces just got kind of tied up, and then you got low on time and then you started blundering yeah. um that was your games with Ludwig, and then yeah. with garnt you just blundered your queen and i was like yeah yeah what's happening here <laughs> you're like you play so well and yeah you just like let it go so i kind of want to work on when you have the advantage like understanding mm -hmm. what you need to do um in certain positions to maybe transform the advantage into something that you recognize or okay making it easier for yourself when you when you're winning okay okay um so let's um let's give you a position here and we're just gonna start off with some with some easy stuff here yeah all right and it is uh if you can do me a favor and have evaluations off and lines off that'd be awesome oh okay okay Yep, yep. I, I, did, I didn't know if you had them on or not, but yeah. Oh, I did have them on. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is the best move here? And yeah. No. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, wait, that oh. is. Yeah, yeah. You can pin. You can fork right, right afterwards. So yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Simple, simple tactic. Great. Um, easy stuff. Mm -hmm. Make the right move for white. Beautiful. Check me. Yeah. All right. Great. Um, right. It's going to get wait, progressively wait. harder. <laughs> it's going to get progressively harder. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. 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 Make the best move for white. Best move for white here. Yeah. D4 is great. D4 is a good move. Yeah. There's a slightly better move that can lead into some potential amazing stuff. Um, is it? Do I? Knight g five. Okay, what's the plan with knight g five? Yeah. Uh, because then the pawn is out of the way, but uh, we can then put the queen here, right? Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of a bit of a suck, but uh, <laughs> Red, you, have, you have a great idea. But yeah, I didn't really think it through. I was just uh, <laughs> so, so, all right. This uh, part, this part here was I, was bad for us. Just how mm -hmm. can we make it not bad for us? How we not let a pawn go here? We we have the same idea just in a different way. Oh, just this way? Yeah, exactly. And if they take here, I know I've been. I, th I think I think I've been taught this before. It and was us. It was us. Like, yeah, oh, was it? Was it? Okay. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably why it feels this feels reminiscent, right? Because yeah. Yeah, okay. I think I... Oh, what's the... I forgot how you play this. You just check again. Ooh, but then knight f6. Yeah, true. Had... There's probably a better move here. I, feel... I know there's a way to get more stuff involved. Yes, exactly. Um... You want to force them to the squares that you can get stuff involved in. So, yeah, exactly. One only move. Yep. Yep. Um... Yes. Keep getting more stuff involved. Yep. This is what, yes, remember. Just, oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This no, is no. where you looked at me horribly because I told you PP on the PP. This is the exact lesson. Uh, For those of you who uh, don't know that, they can hear me, right? Yeah, they can hear you. They can All hear right. You. It's a put pressure on the pin piece. It's. Uh, All right, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> See, yeah, it's a. What about this? Exactly. Beautiful. 
Um, what was the? What would I do? Would I just take? No. Wait. Hold on. No. Is that yeah. incorrect? That's correct because it's oh, no, double, you, double check, check, right? Yeah. So right, right, right. Um. Check me. Yeah. All right. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Um. So what happens if they don't play there? And after knight here, they play queen e seven. So I want you to yeah. play. For white, what would you do? Hmm. Well, because I'm going to lose this pawn if I move it uh, out of the way. Uh, but it's going to be threatened anyway. So maybe there's some solution here where I can... Oh, would I just check him? No. Wait. And you have an advantage. You have a clear advantage because they had to move their queen in the opening. Yeah. And their pawn's on f6, and the natural square for the knight on g8 is f6. So they're taking away their own natural square. Right? Yeah. There's nothing... If you don't find anything good, like, oh, I, you don't mate them, you don't win material, mm -hmm. then it's okay just to go back. Okay. That's admitting defeat. <laughs> and, okay, that, that's another point that I wanted to bring up. Um, yeah, but yeah. it was supposed to be later on, but chess ego. It seems like you have a, a little bit of a chess ego, and a lot of people do. It's not a bad thing. It's like, I don't want to move back. I move this with a purpose and I don't want to feel dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, yeah, I think I don't mind moving something back. I just don't want to lose free material. And Fair so enough. I always try Fair to enough. come up with a solution. So I, like, I don't know. Yeah. Because I, I struggled dumb. with that. I struggled with a chess ego and many players do saying, okay, I moved here, but that's a mistake. So I have to go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true, true. What, so, what, you just, Beautiful. And if they try to take? Um, I don't... Hmm. I have to block, right? Do I just offer? Yeah, trade? so... Is that the best? Queen e2 is decent, but I like bishop e2 better because we're going to castle and then we're going to put a rook on the e file, right? This, uh, okay, this queen's going to get harassed a whole bunch, right? So we're, we have moves like castle and then knight c3. Now they have to move again. Rook e1, now they have yeah. to move. They have to protect the king. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, and so let's say they play like something like uh, d5 here. Uh-huh. Castles. Mm -hmm. You know, let's say, uh, I don't know. They have to defend this because if they don't, like, uh, let's play knight c6. Um, yeah. Then rook e1. And yeah, then they have to move their queen. Yeah, now they, yeah. Or an IG7, but this already looks kind of bad. Maybe here, maybe. It really looks kind of bad. I mean, you just pin the knight, right? No? Yeah, it looks, it looks kind of bad here, but we can even play an IC3 here. Yeah, that makes sense. Queen F5, and just keep developing pieces, you know, like maybe even D4, because we don't have to do anything yeah. because this bishop is bad. This bishop is bad yeah. because the queen's on the, the best square for the bishop. Right, right. And even though we're not up material, our position is just so much better. So our goal is just to keep developing while gaining these tempo. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go into some calculation stuff all right let's do it all right calculations my specialty oh yeah um uh, no, uh, okay yeah I was, I was gonna start off with some hard stuff <laughs> <laughs> um okay um all right, actually let's start off with this one this is all pure right. calculation mm -hmm. make a queen as well oh my god i had i had to do this uh And I think I'm just gonna. I might. I might have to turn you up a little bit. I don't think they can hear you that well. Oh really? Yep. I, I turned you up. They had a similar issue with corn. Oh really? Yep. 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 Oh, okay. did you have that? Did you have your lesson today? Yep. I had it right before yours. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I, I tricked you. <laughs> tricked me. It's a draw, yeah. 
We can play it out to the draw. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so... Bamboozled me. Yeah. <laughs> so the point is, you want your king to do most of the work, and you want to get yeah. something called opposition. Right? You want to say all number mm. squares away. Yeah. Here, and then when they go here, here. You never really want to push a pawn until they come. Like, if they turn Yeah, I know. I, yeah. We got this I've little work. That. We got the red carpet. Yeah. Right? And so if they go back, then your king does a lot of work. Now you yeah. have opposition again. Now they have to move. Here, once yeah. your king gets here, then your pawn is free to move. Uh, I see, I see. And this position is the golden position. Yeah. Right? So if you just remember this, bam, mm -hmm. bam, red carpet. Yeah, then, yeah, I see. And if it's blocked, uh, sorry, if it's white to move, we just play here, here, and now they have an escape square. I see. Okay. So, good luck. You go ahead okay. and try it. So I'm just going to move it back. All right. Make the red carpet. All right, guys, I'll make the red carpet. <laughs> All right. Oh, I gave you two. I gave you two moves. Sorry. I'm going <laughs> to give you two moves. I'll take two moves. I like that. All right, go ahead. Now here I tricked you and I got opposition, but since you're in front of your pawn, now you can reverse opposition with one move. Your king, no, 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 your king doesn't want to move. Here you can just play e3. Oh, I see. Oh, I see, I see. And now you can just continue with your opposition plan. Mm -hmm. um, beautiful, beautiful, exactly. No, you don't do it here because you don't, I'm like I don't have opposition. Oh, right, right, so, right here. Right, because there I would draw you. Um, yeah, right. I take a ladder. I get it. I get right. it. And if I go here, then you can finally start pushing your pawn. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you can push your pawn again. Yep, yep. Yeah, I push my pawn. Right? Because so now, go down. now we have here, and then we have the amazing position, the golden position, if you remember. Yeah. Perfect, exactly. And with king here, here, and then make the red carpet. Exactly. Yay. Yay. <laughs> I love it when I'm in this exact position, but now it's, I understand the point. Though. All right. Now, make me, another, make me an under 15 moves. Uh, it's your turn. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. I was like, why, why can't I move? <laughs> no. Stay on your side. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. For those of you who don't understand, Connor locked me into this quadrant, and that's the perfect plan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We lock, we take those. We lock them in. <laughs> perfect, exactly. And he's making the space that I have much smaller. Closing the quadrant. Yep, yep. Hmm. Close in that quadrant. Yep, yep. Hmm. <laughs> oh, so I just stalemated. <laughs> Fuck my life. I wasn't thinking. Back. <laughs> just do re re rewind, rewind, rewind. <laughs> sure, sure. I was waiting for it too. I was waiting for it. <laughs> I know you were. I know you were. Fuck. All right. Now there you go. Okay, so now it's, uh, okay, so I'm going to, wait, uh, oh, we have to go here. Oh, sorry, you went, you went. No, no, I went up. You went here. Okay, so now yeah. here. Okay. Um, you just have to go away. You have to give me space, right? Yeah. You know, your queen has to kind of like lock me on this back rank. Yeah. Exactly, perfect. And now that now your king can finally come in because yeah. you can checkmate me. Perfect. Good job. Epic. <laughs> Epic, guys. It's free wine time. <laughs> All right, great. Well, uh, what a sad error I made. Oh, well. It, it was for content. Yeah, yeah, I would never make that in a normal right. game. Never. I've never made a mistake. <laughs> 
All right. Um, so I want you to defend this as black because actually if it's white to move, sorry, if it's black to move, it's a draw. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. It's black to move here. It is. Okay, I have opposition and I win. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's that powerful. Yeah, you have to get opposition early. So, how do you do that? Uh, I mean, I'm stuck now. Right, right, because, yeah, red carpet. Yeah, how do you do that? <laughs> how do you how do you win in that situation? Um, so basically, uh, what happened was, um, you just let me get opposition here. So mm. instead of going here, you, there's only one move here. You have to get opposition. And then you follow I just stop. Until finally, I pushed upon. If I go back, then that's easy. You just follow me. Yeah, I, 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 when I, I was thinking about it when I got here. And I thought, mm. oh, well, he's just going to push this pawn. And then I can't do anything. Well, the point is, if the king of the pawn, actually, this is a rule. Mm -hmm. If the king of the pawn on the same rank before the sixth rank, mm -hmm. it's a draw. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. With the king in front, yeah. Oh, okay. So how would I how would I play this? Like, so if I'm there, okay. So yeah, let's say we, we you know we do the dance. I go here. We do the dance, yeah, and, and then I and then I go. Let's say, uh, it's let's say it's right to move here, right? Let's say I go here and you play here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and you, just stay in front you of would the never go there. What, what? What's stopping you from going here? I, well, the, the other king. Oh no no! So when you're when you're here, because mm -hmm. I was here and you were here. Yeah. Right. So then you would oh. never. You're just never gonna. Oh, what's stopping gonna... you from just then doing this? Well, then I just stay in front of the pawn, and it's a draw, anyways. This is a, an attempt to try to trick you off of opposition. Um. But it doesn't work. You just stay in front of the pawn until they show their head, right? And to bam so uh, like, yeah, i guess that makes sense here go back here and when they when they're here on the same line you just say hey and just keep so that just technique stay on the up. same line yep you keep that technique up okay until they push the pawn and then the king's tango again bam check stay in front of the pawn go back mm. right and then very important this is the most important one make sure you do this check here and here and then, and, yeah, and then, okay, that makes sense. All right, one more, let's try that one more time. All right. Uh, let's smooth everything back. So, you guys understand, Connor? I do, guys. I'm not that dumb. Watch this, guys. Do it. It's uh, it's black to move. Uh, see, okay, okay. I just chase you. Beautiful. Okay, yeah, you, you have the technique, though. Yep, perfect. Yeah, there we go. There we go. I have the technique. Big brain time. I should have gone down. What am I doing? Is that a game ending move? No. Because no, 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 I went back, so. Yeah, you can't do anything still. Yep. I'll just let you push it if you want, I guess. Oh, no. You remember, you only go to the side when oh, they're I, there on. Right, and now I have this, right? So that's. Unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> I did fuck up. Okay, okay, right, okay. Right, right. So the, the point is, you, you stay in front of the pawn, you go back and forth between these mm -hmm. two squares. And then finally, oh, when you're on this square, then you go here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I understand now. Okay, mm -hmm. I messed up there. Okay. I messed up. But, you, but now, you know. yeah, now you know. It. Yeah, now, now I know. Okay, cool. All right, so let's. Um, Let's go into some calculation stuff. So that was easy stuff. Let's go into 
<laughs> let's go into some nice little calculation stuff. Um, so pawn here, pawn here, king here, king here. This is a really, really famous puzzle with white to move. It's uh, called the ready idea. Mm -hmm. And the point of this move is to teach you to use all of your pieces and there's two ideas here, and I'm going to give them to you. The idea is to promote your pawn and to try to catch yeah. this pawn. So we have to use okay. both of these ideas to kind of work together to make a draw. Yeah. Or you want to draw. You, we, yeah, we can't win this. Oh, we can't win this. All right. So white to move. Okay. White's heading up. Black is heading down. What's the idea here? King G7, perfect, perfect. Okay, um, there's obviously two lines here, so here or here. Yeah. So let's go over this one. I think the idea is that I push this here so that you have to go one behind, right? So that I'm always like stuck behind it now. Right, but you're always behind the pawn, right? And you can never catch it because you're always one behind. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, well, so uh, in this situation, I just... And then you're always one behind, button. right? Yeah, I guess so. So how do we... And I'm going to give you a, kind of the hint to this. All pathways are equidistant, right? So if you go this uh, way... Mm -hmm. uh, actually, we can even go here. It's one... Let's not let me right click. Okay. A one, two. Okay, fine. I'll just draw arrows. <laughs> it's six squares, right? It's mm -hmm. six squares this way, it's six squares this way. And if you want, it can be like this. Yeah. That's all equidistant, right? So, like, they're all the six squares. Yeah. Right? So, the same thing is if we're going here, we can also go this way and catch, do both ideas, right? Yeah. So, if king here, then what do we play? Um, perfect. And if I play here, beautiful. You're still heading this way, and you're yeah. still heading this way. Yeah. So if I take, mm -hmm. beautiful, beautiful, great, great, great. Um, let's say I play, I play h4. You play king e5. Yeah. Perfect. Um, and let's say I play H3. Now what do you do? This pawn is two squares away from promoting. We can't catch it. Mm. Beautiful. Exactly. The point is now we're, we're in time. Yeah. Let's say they try to defend it. And this is a draw. Two queens on the board is a draw. Yeah. Okay, yeah. beautiful. And this is actually a really right. hard puzzle. You couldn't get the easy stuff, but the hard stuff you can get. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, that, that was I don't impressive. think the hard part was that hard. You just can't catch it. Like, <laughs> right, right. So right. why not try and change, like, cause a problem, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so this is white to move, and this is using the same idea. It's a little bit harder mm -hmm. um, in terms of calculation. Um, and yeah. Ignore the sirens, it's New York City. Sorry about that. It's okay, sorry. <laughs> um, it's white to move, and white's heading this way, black is heading this way. And it's white to draw. Try to find the draw here. White to draw. Oh, this is tough. Um, what I'm thinking is that, let's say, you know, obviously we have, we need to get this king in a place where it can protect this pawn to allow it to promote, because this one we can't get, unless we just go for this one, but even, we can't go diagonal, so I feel like going there, on this square, I just didn't, just throw the game. Um. Beautiful. Most people don't understand that within the first 10 seconds. Okay. Okay, I'm liking this, um, where this is going. <laughs> 
I feel like the correct idea here is to... Because if we move the pawn, the problem is that if I move the pawn here right away, he goes here, but then there's no way I can catch. Mm -hmm. Like, even if I go here, he goes here. Oh, I moved there. No, wait, actually, hold up. If I move here. Oh, yeah, so if I went here, he goes here, m move here, and then I can move onto this square, I guess. But wait, no, that's not. Does that make sense? Doesn't make sense. Well, for, you gave two moves to white. Here, here. Mm hmm. So you go there. And this is still difficult because even if I go here, you just go here. And right. You get the pawn. And, and then I what. promote. And then I promote my pawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's go I, back. Wait. Yeah, yeah. And this is tough because they start off with two moves, not just one. Hmm. So. If I went, if I move the king first, you can't go on this square. So my, I think my goal is to like stop you from getting on this square. Sorry. Beautiful. Okay. And now, you go there. right. So basically, I'm forced to play king c6 because if not, you're going to promote first. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Then we want to reignite this idea and we want to get this idea rolling. But if we play here, yeah. then they're going to play here. So we can't be too hasty. Right, 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 right. How do we tell them, like, hey, we're going to be able to push again? Well, the only square that we can't go to these squares. So I only, if I can't move the pawn, I have two moves. So maybe this? Yeah, and the point Even is then, a6, a7. Yeah. And then I'm going to promote because I protect it here. Yeah. So my only move is block is to play king b5 to attack the pawn. Yeah. We have to get this idea one more time and say, hey, I really want to push that pawn. So mm. what, what's a move that you can do to make that happen? Or to at least threaten it? Beautiful. Saying, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push this pawn if you don't do anything. And now mm. I have to take. Oh. And then, beautiful. I can just... And now you catch the pawn. Yeah. Great. That makes sense. Yeah, I guess I wasn't there. I wasn't thinking about winning. I, I was like uh, drawing. I was thinking, I want to get this pawn promoted, but there's no way in that situation uh, if he wants to, he takes it. But I guess it's setting up myself so I can get over there. Right, right. Okay, and... That makes sense. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at some ideas in a real game. I use uh, two ideas to combat it, so let's just reset the board. And I'm going to set up a position mm. here. Mm -hmm. Actually, let's just make it easy. Oh, whoa. What's that, what's that bishop doing there? How'd that go there? And let's play uh, here. Actually, this is actually pretty easy. Um, okay. Here's uh, the move. So our bishop is, is kind of nice here, and it's white to move here. Mm -hmm. Find the best move. There's only one move here that is winning. The others are about equalish, or white slightly better. There's one move that almost guarantees you a win of a pawn, and it's an important pawn. Oh shit, I got raid. Thank you, Mouse. Thank you for the raid. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm big brain thinking right now. Um, I mean, I, I genuinely like the idea of, like, I know, it, I know, it, I don't think it's correct, but I think just taking this pawn and forcing him to compromise the safety of the king in some sense, because we have these two pieces out, but I don't think that's the right move. But I well, right, I agree with you. That's what I would you. go for. I actually agree with you, like, if they take with the e pawn, it looks slightly dubious, right? Like yeah. now this e file is open, but if they take with the c pawn, now it's closed, and they can just like develop their pieces and get everything yeah. out. I guess so, yeah. Right. Just so like the idea of the explosion. Right. The, there's a move that threatens a piece, threatens to win a piece right away. Oh, uh, okay. Um. And you'll have a dominating position at the end. 
Mm-hmm. Let me think. Got it. Take your time. This? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Queen G3. And the idea is, well, obviously you saw it, that we're both attacking mm-hmm. this and we're attacking the knight. That's loose. It's only yeah. defended once. Yeah. Right. The best line is probably just to play either knight d7 or bishop d7. Mm-hmm. Right? And after that, just bishop captures g7. Bishop yeah. captures g7. Takes. Queen f6. Takes. Takes. And maybe e5. And now their position's locked up. This bishop is completely trash. Yeah. And we're just winning. True. No, yeah, no, it's, it's hard. Right, it's, like, right. it's it's about as good as a pawn. And okay. pawn's, pawn's probably better because it can promote to a queen. Yeah. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then here we're just absolutely crushing, right? So always look for these moves that do two things at once, right? Like these are the moves right, that right, right. are going to win you the, the tournament arc. Okay. All right, so let's no, look at a, another idea um, in the opening. It's the, this is actually um, a fun opening. This is called the grob. Grob. And the grob is known as the worst opening, but it's also very fun. Why? So, um, it doesn't follow opening principles like developing in the center and taking the center. And also, you're giving up a side pawn, the grob gambit. Oh, okay. Right? Um, I played it like a few times in a tournament and I haven't done well with it, but it's always fun to play. Okay. So, C4. Yeah. Um, and I'm not showing it. So you play this, I just want you to get the idea of doing two things at right, once. Right, 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 right. So you're um, going to check after the pawn's taken. Mm-hmm. So let's say they play e6. Mm-hmm. What's a move that does two things at once? Uh, I would check with the queen still. Okay, and what does your check do? Uh, checks the king and also helps the pawn. So if it gets taken, we can just move our queen. Mm, okay. If queen a4, let's say they play queen d7, trying to trade off. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I suppose. I think I would push the pawn, the b pawn. <laughs> One. <laughs> just right. offer it. Yeah. Right. Okay. And then I think here, after queen catches a4, queen catches a4. You know, we can't yeah, take terrible. Yeah, we true. can't take here, but like maybe knight c six and you know we yeah. can we can just probably like win with knight before and threaten this and this. Mm, true. But I I don't mind your, your checks, but I feel like mm. here just playing queen b three instead. Adding pressure here, oh, remember I guess we that have means, uh, one, two, and three. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. This so, is what you did in the tournament? Ah, uh, yeah. I, this game actually <laughs> won. So, like, I'll show you a line here. Um, so, I took here. And then, yeah. once they take here. Take with queen? No, take with the bishop, because now we're threatening here and here. Same idea. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Mm-hmm. So, it's this idea of, just like, okay, I'm, I'm going to move this here, but I have an ulterior motive as well, right? Like, I, I just need mm. this in a better position. Um, so there's actually, um, there's actually a line in the Scandinavian, if they played the Scandinavian, so like here, and then if knight take, uh, if knight f6, knight c3, takes mm-hmm. bishop c4, this is actually a line, it's meant to trick people. And it gives a slight advantage if you play knight capture c3, it looks like you have to destroy your pawn structure. Hmm. Find the move that lets you keep your pawn structure and a good bishop. Exactly, queen f3. Beautiful. The point is, we're yeah. going to play here, and then uh, we can just capture back. They have to play e6, a, a horrible move, because now their bishop is bad. Yeah, yeah. And then queen captures c3. Mm, and we're developed. Exactly. And now we can bring our knight out, bishop out. You know, we can cancel <sighs> whichever way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just got to be careful Check about out. 96 and not losing our queen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, I think you'll be fine. Um, and also, um, there, there's a line that you've been playing 
that I didn't really like you as black. You play this against guard a couple times. Bishop here, here, e6, and then he just played this. Yeah. Um. If if you're trying to like get a close position, maybe this is the way to do it. But I feel like this is a little bit superior. Yeah. And then play e6. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Right or ninety seven, and just because you don't, they don't know what you're trying to play. Yeah. Right. Um. So bishop g six, and you're letting them get a center. So the the whole point is we need to strike that center at some point. Mm -hmm. Right. And so the, let's say they play like knight c three here. This is actually a really really nice line. You can play c five mm -hmm. here, and they think yeah. it's free pawn, but now you just take and you triple their pawns. Oh, I see. So it's just ugly. Right, right. And queen a5, and now... Yeah, we attack two. Let's say queen d4, knight, knight f6, if so they try to play here, and now mm -hmm. we trick and win knight c6, and gg. They can't defend everything. Yeah. Queen c4, knight captures d5. And if the... Let's say they try to defend... I don't know, this pawn. Let's say queen here, then they lose the whole house. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. True, yeah. true. Okay. okay, sorry. And I've been going kind of fast. So any no, questions? No, no, no. Any, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, any questions, anything um, that you want All to good. ask? All good, so yeah. Because here... Um, actually, it'd be kind of nice if you play this in the tournament. Yeah, you want me to play it? It'd be, it'd, be, it'd be kind of spicy. Only only if they play this one line. Like, if they play an IC3 first. I feel like they wouldn't play this line. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be really spicy. <laughs> <laughs> I, think because, I, I feel like as black, because I can't... I can never get ahead of them on the center. I prefer to play close positions like that as black and just let them just fuck up. Mm, and then we can just take advantage of it. Okay. Then you have to make sure... Um, if you're going for mm. those like a really close kind of stuff, then play like mm. the French, and everybody's gonna hate okay. me for suggesting this. Like, you're gonna like why okay. why are you, why are you doing this to him? Uh, but just playing the French or playing the Carol Khan is really solid as black, mm -hmm. and most people will either push or take. And if they take, okay, whatever. They take take, and you develop your bishop e6, and you have a good position. Okay. What you happens know, if they push? If they push. Um, there are a lot of lines here, but you can just play Bishop F. I'm not expecting people to punish you. Um, yeah. And so Bishop F5, and let's say they just play something normal like Knight F3, E6, and then you go for a C5 break because you're trying to put pressure here and also get the Bishop Knight out, Queen to B6, yeah. attacking here and here. And okay. this, this is a better version of the French that I was telling you about because in the French, usually this Bishop is back on C8. But now it's okay. outside, now it's attacking everything. Okay, so I should do this version. Yeah, so the Caracon's really, really strong. Um, okay, okay. It's really solid. Um, and That's only if they play E4. E4, yeah. And if, even if they play D4, you can play C6. I, um, one of my students, I was teaching them um, a repertoire, just always play C65. Doesn't matter what really? they play. Yeah, just play C65, and it, it's, yeah, it's pretty solid. Strong. Yeah, it's strong. really solid. You know, and then just like we can capture here or we can just play e6. We can even play e5. Depends on how yeah. spicy you want to be. You can just play knight f6 and be solid. And, solid. and 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 yeah, not give up our plan, you know. You know, bishop f. All right. Yep, and this is this is like real solid. You basically you're waiting for this bishop to move somewhere. Like if they play like bishop e2. Yeah. Then we take then we can take, or you can play the even solid version, play e6, and then wait till they play another move, and then we can uh, either take, play bishop d6, and castle. And this is like really, really solid and nice. And you can see that we have literally the same position as the other opening, except the pawn was here. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yep. Just play h6, develop all your pieces, and then finally play e5. And that's your plan. Okay. Or C5. What happens if they if, if his knight moves to e5 there? How do I deal with that? 
So the knight moving to d5 or e5, this is like one of the typical things in these kind of structures. But you play knight yeah. b7 and try to trade off this knight sometimes. So like, let's I just want to always get rid of it if I can. Not always. Like if they play f4, mm, I think here just putting your knight to e4 and just having this yeah, kind of dynamic. Yeah, done the we, same thing. Yeah. We, we can push, we, yeah. And at the right moment, we can push, yeah. All right. After we've like maybe just done something like this and then right, get, right, right, get, right. get some get, get some good things going but we yeah, can yeah. or we can just take um and most most likely they're like oh it's already defended so i'm not going to defend it again and they'll just like castle and that's when we can kind of just take advantage and say trade. okay well yeah yeah well so if i trade there i i take it he takes with pawn where do i move my knight to this is something i struggle with i'm like okay when this knight gets threatened here where's the best place to put it just that always. Oh, I guess I'm threatening the piece, right? Yeah, right, and sense. if they try to play f4, well, we need to find a break, right? And so, d capture c4, capture c4, yeah. and now we have an open d file, knight b6, and now all of our pieces are going to play. We don't care about this being locked up. This bishop is right. Gardabaggio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Horrible. If they trade queens, that's great for us. We're just like, thank you. Um, we can take here and we control the d file. Mm. True, true. And this bishop has to move somewhere. So let's say bishop e2, and now bishop b4, and all of our pieces are great. And most That's likely true. that we're most likely we're gonna play king here and try to double up on the d file. Oh yeah, that that makes sense. Wait, why do we want to double up on the d file? Because even if we move the rook here, right? I mean, he's just gonna trade and trade again. No? Right, but we want control of the open d file. It's the only file that's open. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So that's a, that I guess yeah, because then that opens up options to moving bishop here as well. Right, right, right. And it also, like you, we, if we control all the action and all the space, mm -hmm. then they're left with less space, and we can kind of work with that and move our pieces to okay. better positions, and then finally win the game or win okay, a pawn, or you know, because mm -hmm. our check sound, check sound. You want me to check sound? Oh, oh no! Oh, no, no, checks out, checks out. Sorry, oh, checks check out. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> and yeah, this it's it's a really it's a really nice idea. And um, yeah, if you want to play C sixty five and for anything, I so think you, it's a great so you plan. So, so you said uh, moving the the king forward there is castling just more inefficient there. I, I think the king, like most likely, we're going to get into an end game. And I'd rather save these two tempo and play here, right? So basically, I'm saving a tempo, trying to get my king to the center, right? Because if I castle, right. and then here, and then here, my king's still my king's over here. So I'm gonna have to go yeah. one, two, eventually. So if I just play this one right now, then I can mm -hmm. move my rook over. So like, let's say, that let's, makes sense, yeah. uh, let's say they play something like h3. Um, maybe just king here. I don't know. This is something that they would probably play. Bishop c2. Mm. Controlling the default, right? And no. then let's say king f2. And maybe doubling here, rook d7, rook d8. Mm. And just making sure that you have control of this. And then we're looking for bad pieces versus good pieces, which is what we talked about okay. before. Um, what is their bad piece? What is their good piece? I think their good piece is the bishop. Because all the pawns yeah. are on the dark squares. And this is the bad yeah. piece, right? So we want to eliminate this good piece. And we want them to yeah. keep this bad piece because we're just going to have all to play. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So um, let's say they play a3. Now all their light squares are weak. And sure. knight a4. And yeah, this is, this is getting really tough to play. <laughs> you're playing too well <laughs> um, but this yeah. is like basically something that can happen very easily and although mm. it's not like crushing like oh I'm definitely winning 100% it's, it's a great position to have it's, it's good mm. to just be black and have an advantage or just know what to do right okay because white controls the play right yeah okay and uh, that's basically all that i have for you today i hope that it was oh. uh <laughs> that was good what do you recommend for me to study up on 
I need you doing tactics. I need you doing a lot of puzzles. I need you. Oh, you switch cams. Okay, hold on. I got oh, I, I've been doing a lot of puzzles. I'm 16, nearly 1700, I think. I don't know what's a good level of puzzles. Um, just keep doing them. The point is consistency. Right, okay. Yep. If, the puzzles, I, I, yeah, pretty good. I, like, I enjoy it. There we go. I got you. Got you back. Um, yeah, if, if, you, if you just keep doing puzzles, keep playing games, and then literally just ask any questions that you have, like, hey, how do I deal with this? Or oh, I found this really, like, annoying. Like, what do you do here in this situation? You'll be, yeah. And you have a general sense of, like, where pieces belong. Like, that, yeah. you, that's innately a good thing that you have. Like, intuition. You have this insane intuition. Thank you. Like, I need that. <laughs> I, I think you're a little better. I think you're a little better than me. I thought you got to worry about that one. No, because I had to think. You just know. You just feel. It's like this piece belongs here, or this this. But sometimes you get off track, and you get maybe a little bit too like scared. Yeah. Or maybe, maybe you just like. Scared. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Maybe not scared. Maybe scared's the wrong word. Maybe it's more like. I will say I don't I don't like it when I don't have like a gut feeling of what to move. I normally okay. always have a gut feeling of where a piece should be. I don't like go. it when I don't. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> that makes sense. Right. When I don't know where, I'm like, I know the general. I can look at the board, and I'm like, all right, I know roughly what needs to get to where, what mm. I need to do. But then I, when I don't have a clear move how to do it, I'm like, fuck, all right, shit. I just, <laughs> just sack the game. Just throw right, the game. Right, right, right. So, honestly, just do the puzzles. And if you're going to play an opening, then yeah. I need you to work on that opening. And if you need resources, okay. I will send you all the resources that you need. Yeah, can you li can you list me the openings to like play, and I'll uh, I'll learn them. <laughs> yeah, I okay, sure, sounds good. <laughs> All um, right, sounds good. One at just play one e four. One e four, and then figure it out. Uh, and then all right, that's normally what I do. As black play um, c sixty five for anything they play. Okay, c six c five and then and then try to get the bishop out if they let you. You know, okay, and then. If they take take bishop f five, and I'm I'm mm -hmm. sending you, I'll send you everything that we worked on today in the PGN. Okay, awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. that'd be good. Okay, all right, and guys, thank you so much on C Dog Stream. Um, it's been a blast. I really appreciate yeah. it. Get this win. You, I, <laughs> you, I really want to. I need to get this win. The first, I need to beat Garn in the first match. I, 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 uh, but I've been playing really bad lately. Oh, Garn's streaming right now. <laughs> yeah, I think he was playing chess. Like he's like, hey, I'm gonna keep playing. <laughs> oh my god, he's got he's got to twelve hundred. Jesus. Yeah. He's, Dude, that he's, man that man like kept grinding after the tournament arc, the first one. He's the villain now. He's the villain, you're the hero. Let's go. I, I guess so. I have to pull uh, something magical out of my ass, I think. There, no, I you got this. Just make sure that you fine, follow like set play, clear plans. Um yeah. just be tactically sharp. Just be ready for mm -hmm. like positional mistakes that they're gonna make. And if they fall into like this kind of stuff that we just worked on, then you know what to do.